Today I'm going to read the fairy tale about the little brother and the little sister by Brothers Grimm. So, a little brother took his little sister by hand and said, Ever since our mother died, we've not had one moment of happiness. Our stepmother beats us every day, and when we came near her, he kicked us away with her foot. We get nothing but had crusts of bread, just leftovers for food, and the dog under the table is better off. At least it gets a good chunk of meat to eat every now and then. Lord have mercy on us, if our mother only knew. Come, let's go off together into the wild world. So they went away and came to a large forest where they were so sad and so tired that they crept into a hollow tree and just wanted to die from hunger. Then they both left asleep. When they, walked, when they woke up the next morning, the sun was already high in the sky and warmed the hollow tree with its rays. Little sister, said the little brother after a while, I'm thirsty. If I only knew where to find a spring, I'd go and have a drink right away. Listen, I think I hear one trickling. What good will, do, will that do? The little sister answered. Why do you want to drink when we just want to die from hunger? <laughs> the little brother kept quiet and climbed out of the hollow tree, and since he always held her sister's hand, Tightly, she had to climb out with him. Now, their evil stepmother was also a witch, and when she had noticed that the two children had left, she, she followed them and caused a clear little stream near the tree to trickle from some, some rock, rocks and form a spring. The trickling spring was intended to lure the children and make, make their mouth water. But whoever drank from the spring would be changed into a little fawn. fawn. The little brother soon came to the spring with his sister and when he saw the glittering water trickle over the stones into the spring, his thirst became even greater and he wanted to drink some of the water. However, the little sister was fearful she thought she heard the, sp the spring speak to her as it trickled. Whoever drinks me will be changed into a fawn. Fawn. Into a fawn. Whoever drinks me will be changed into a fawn. So she begged her little brother not to drink the water. I don't hear anything, said the brother. I just hear how lovely the water is trickling. Let me go. Upon, upon saying this, he lay down on the ground, leant over and drank, and as soon as he felt the first drop of water on his lips, he was changed into a little foam, sitting beside the spring. The little sister wept and wept. However, the witch was angry that she hadn't been able to lure the little sister to drink the water as well. After the girl wept for three days, she, stu she stood up, gathered some bulrushes and wove them into a soft rope. Hmm. Then she attached it to the little fawn and led him with her. She looked for a cave and when she found one, she carried moss and foliage inside and made a soft bed for him. The next morning, she went out with the fawn to a place where, with tender grass and there she gathered the most beautiful grass which he ate out of her hand. The fawn was delighted and romped about all the hills. The hills. In the evening, when the little sister was tired, she laid her head on the back of the phone. It was her pillow and his and 
and this is how she fell asleep. If only her brother could have retained his human form, it would have be, been a wonderful life. So, for many years, they, they lived like this in the forest. Then, one day, the king went out on a hunt, and when he became lost, he stumbled upon the maiden with the little animal in the forest and was amazed by her beauty. He lifted her upon up he lifted up her up into his horse and took her, her with him, while the fawn attached by the rope ran alongside. At the royal at the royal court the maiden was treated with honor. Beautiful young woman had to serve her, but she herself was more beautiful than any of the other ladies. She never let the phone out of her sight, and she, she tended him with care. Shortly after her arrival, the queen mother died, and the king wed the sister, and they lived together in a great joy. However, the stepmother had heard about the good fortune of the poor little sister. She had thought that the maiden had long since been torn to pieces by wild beasts, but they had never done anything to her. Indeed, the maiden was now the queen of the realm. The witch was so angry about this that she could only think of some ways of some way she might ruin the queen's happiness. And then, when the queen gave birth to a handsome prince the next year and the king was out hunting, the witch appeared in, in the form of a chambermaid chambermaid, mm. and entered the room where the queen was recovering from the birth. The bath has been properly prepared for you, she said. It will do you good and strengthen you. Come before the water becomes too cold. Come before the water becomes too cold. The witch led the queen into the bathroom and locked the door behind her. Inside there was a brutally hot fire and the beautiful queen was suffocated to death. Now the witch had a daughter, a daughter of her own and she endowed her with the outward shape of the queen and laid her in bed in place of the queen. Hmm. So the witch have uh, switched the princesses. Interesting. In the evening, when the king returned home, he didn't realize that he had a false wife. Hmm. But in the night, and the nurse saw this, the real queen appeared in the room. She went to the cradle, lifted the child to her breast and sucked him, suckled him. Then she plumped up his tiny mat matters, 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 matters. <coughs> laid the baby in the cradle again and covered him. After this, she went into the corner where the fawn slept and stroked his back. This was how she came and went every night without saying a word. One time, however, she entered again and said, How's my child? How's my phone? Phone. Twi twice more I'll come, then I'll be gone. Then she did what she had usually done the other nights. Meanwhile, the nurse woke the king and told him secretly what has occurred. A co a co what? Occurred. What had occurred? So the next night the king kept watch and he too saw how the queen came and he clearly heard her words. How's my child? How's my phone? Once more I will come, then I'll be gone. However, he didn't dare to speak to her. The following night he kept watch again and the queen said, How's my child? How's my phone? There's no more time. Soon I will be gone. 
The king could no longer restrain himself. He sprang forth and embraced her, and as soon as he touched her, she was restored to life, resurrected, rosy red and well. The false queen was led into the forest where the wild beasts devoured her. The evil stepmother was burned at the stake, and as the fire consumed her, the fawn was transformed, and, bro and the brother and the sister were once again together and lived happily until the end of their days. Hmm. Well, another fairy tale with a happy end. So, this is for today, and see you next week with the, the fairy tale of Rapunzel. Yes.